Hi guys, my name is Tatiana Medinsova and you are on my crochet channel. In this third part we will finish making the bunny and in the last part we will make the overalls. I remind you that there is a PDF bunny crochet pattern on Etsy, thanks to everyone who supports my creation. I wish you a wonderful creative mood, let's begin! Now let's make a small tightening of the muzzle. Take a regular needle and thread. To make a tightening, we insert the needle at the bottom of the muzzle and move the needle toward the eye. The needle should come out at the bottom of the eye, somewhere in the middle. Now insert a needle through a few stitches on top and pull the thread down the muzzle. We insert the needle again through several stitches and exit with the needle under the second eye. You can see we tighten the thread thereby tightening the muzzle, I hold the bunny by the eyes, we thread the needle down again, we repeat this operation several times, constantly tightening the thread uh, so that the muzzle is tightened as required. Not convenient, I need to take the toy closer to me. We don't do anything special here, so we finish on our own. I think this tightening will be enough, there is no need to tighten the muzzle too much. Now we will make a muzzle. White yarn, hook number 4. We make a loop and 8 chain stitches. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we will crochet in the opposite direction along the chain of chain stitches. From the second stitch from the hook we make 6 single crochets along the chain. Here is 1, now 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There should be one stitch left here. In this last stitch we make 3 single crochets. You can see the crochet moves to this side. On this side we also need to make 6 single crochets. Don't skip the stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is how it should turn out. Now in this stitch we also make 3 single crochets in one stitch. Ready. From the next stitch in the opposite direction we make 7 single crochets. I recommend putting a marker after the first single crochet. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have reached uh, this point and here we make two increases. In the first stitch we make two single crochets, this is the first increase. And in the next stitch two more single crochets, 
this is the second increase. Now on this side we make 7 single crochets. There are 2 stitches left until the end of the row. We also make 2 increases in these 2 stitches. 2 single crochets in one stitch and in the next stitch 2 more single crochets. This is how beautiful it turns out. In the next row we simply make 22 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. Everything is correct, we managed to make 22 single crochets. Turn the muzzle inside out to the front side. You can leave the muzzle this side, but it's not enough for me. I suggest making one more row, 22 single crochets. Just in a circle we make one single crochet in each stitch. Slip stitch in the next stitch and leave a thread long enough to sew the muzzle to the bunny's head. Pull and tighten the thread. To sew on the muzzle I use the best needle with a blunt end. Sew the muzzle to the head in this position. Sew the muzzle in a circle. Everything is as usual, nothing complicated. We alternately thread the thread through the head, then into the muzzle and sew it on ourselves. I won't tell you or teach you anything new here. Just sew in a circle. Please note that I don't add any filler to the muzzle. A little later we insert the nose in the middle and fasten it. We work ourselves. My bunny's muzzle is sewn on. Now we will crochet bunny's ears. We start making the ear from the inside, milky color. For the ears you can use hook number 4, you can also use number 5. With hook number 5 uh, the ears will naturally be larger. This ear is made with crochet hook number 4. I also make the second ear with crochet hook number 4. We make a loop and 4 chain stitches. From the second stitch from the hook we need to make 3 half double crochets. We make a yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull it out and crochet 3 loops on the hook at a time. This is called a half double crochet. We make a yarn over again, insert the hook into the next stitch and crochet. We make a yarn over, went into the stitch, grabbed the working thread and crocheted it in one echo. Three half double crochets are done. Now we make one chain stitch and turn the crochet. Here we also need to make three half double crochets. One, two, Three. One chain stitch again and turn the crochet. Now we make one half double crochet. In the next stitch in the middle we make one increase. 
In the ears we do everything with uh, half double crochets. In the next stitch one half double crochet. One chain stitch and turn crochet. Here we start one half double crochet. In the next stitch one increase. That's uh, two half double crochets in one stitch. And two half double crochets to the end of the row. One chain stitch and turn crochet. Two half double crochets. One, two. In the next stitch, one increase. And two half double crochets to the end of the row. One chain stitch and turn crochet. We make six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to make three more such rows. That's uh, we make one chain stitch, turn the crochet, and make six half double crochets. Again, one chain stitch. Turn the crochet and make 6 half double crochets. And we repeat the same combination the third time. We make these 3 rows ourselves. 3 rows are completed and 1 chain stitch is made and uh, the crochet is turned. 2 half double crochets, 1, 2, 1 decrease. We make a yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull out the working thread. And now I insert the hook into the next stitch and crochet these four loops at a time. This is side to decrease. Two half double crochets to the end of the row. One chain stitch again and turn the crochet. The first half double crochet. The second half double crochet. 1 decrease in the next stitches. You can see 4 loops on the hook at a time. And 1 half double crochet to the end of the row. 1 chain stitch and turn the crochet. 1 half double crochet. 1 decrease. And 1 half double crochet to the end of the row. 1 chain stitch and turn. 3 half double crochets. Ready. Let's make a loop like this and cut the thread. Pull and tighten the thread. Additionally, I straight the thread inside and also fix it with a needle and thread. Additionally, I secure it with a needle and thread so that the ends of the thread don't come out when the child uh, plays with a bunny. We do everything efficiently and well. We have made one part of the ear. Now we make the other half uh, in the same way, only we use beige color. At the end we don't cut the thread from the second part and we'll connect both halves uh, on the ear together. The second part of the ear is ready. The second part is exactly the same as the first one. We apply both parts to each other. Let's make uh, sure they are fit together. We hold to the ear so that uh, the light part is in front. We connect uh, the two parts of the ear with half double crochets in a circle. We use half double crochets. We insert the hook into one half of the ear into the second half of the ear and crochet them together. If somewhere the crochet is too tight, you can make two half double crochets in one stitch. Act according to the situation. I do this too sometimes. Somewhere two half double crochets somewhere just one, I look at the situation. That is, we'll continue crochet the ear like this, I'm showing you.
This is how beautiful it turns out. I'm almost done. Here we make one slip stitch and cut the thread. Pull and tighten the thread. Pull the thread through the stitches with a crochet hook. Using a regular needle and thread, we additionally stitch the end of the thread. I pull the working thread uh, through the stitches. The second ear is crocheted uh, in exactly the same way. When the two ears are ready, sew the ears to the bunny's head. Sew it in the middle somewhere like this. There is nothing special to show, we sew it in this position. To ensure that the ears are fixed and do not fall, we sew the ear on the back side one row higher. Thanks to this, the ears will stand and will not fall. I'll show you what I was talking about, how the ears fall. Naturally, if the ears are sewn only at the bottom, they will not stand up. We take the toy and hold the ear in a standing position. We stretch the needle and thread one row higher. And if it's not enough, that later we can go two rows higher and sew on the ear. I just pulled the thread and the ear went up. The ear became in the vertical position we needed. On the other side of this ear we do the same thing. We stretch the thread on the other side of the ear and tighten it. The ear is held in an upright position. On the front side we also sew everything beautifully and the first ear is in place. We sew the second ear on ourselves. This is how beautiful it turns out. The ears are sewn on. The ears hold up well and don't fall off. I made additional elements around the eyes. Under the eye with a white thread, about the eye with a black thread. The bunny's gaze became more expressive. Dearest bunny, we don't make a tail for the bunny because we are making overalls and the tail will get in the way. The bunny is really very cool. Guys, who hasn't liked or commented yet, you can do it right now. As the saying goes, you are from me. And I'm for you. This is how the world works. I give you cool masterclasses and you give me feedback in the form of likes, comments and subscriptions. You can also share this video with uh, those who may be interested. The more views there are, the more incentive I will have to come up with new toys for you. This beauty is ready. Now all we have to do is make an overalls for the bunny. But we'll do this in the next part.